the icbi the nippon foundation mathematics package for uh, teachers title of the video transversal and uh, the different types of uh, angles that we get now we know that when the two lines intersect each other we get uh, angles so these angles are called as vertically opposite uh, angles now let us say there is a line a b and c d now they are meeting at a point o so the angle a o c the angle a o c and the angle b o d are called as vertically opposite angles now similarly the angle cob and the angle aod are also called as vertically opposite angles now this is in the case of two lines intersecting each other we have to prove that the opposite angles vertically they are equal we will uh, demonstrate that later now this is in the case of two lines intersecting each other now we have the other situations too when there are two lines on the same plane we have another line going through these two lines at two distinct points now let us call line 1 line 2 and then line 3 is going through lines 1 and 2 on the same plane at two distinct points now here when the line 3 is going through these two lines if we consider line 1 and line 3 as separate lines they are intersecting and you are getting four angles so let us call angle a angle b angle c and angle d so there are four angles formed by the intersection of lines 1 and 3 similarly you take line 3 and line 2 again you get four angles let us call them as e f g and uh, h now let us uh, define the different types of angles that we get uh, through the transversal going through the lines 1 and 2 now 3 is the transversal now there are four angles formed on the right side of the transversal they are b c f and g now there are four angles formed on the left side of the transversal they are a d e and h we know that angles a and c are vertically opposite angles b and d are vertically opposite angles similarly e and g are vertically opposite angles and h and f are vertically opposite angles now let us take angle b and angle f what do we make out of these two angles both the angles are above the two lines one and two but to the right side of the transversal 3 so we call these angles b and f as corresponding angles corresponding angles so the similarity is they are above the lines but to the right side of the transversal similarly let us take the angles C and G. The angle C is below line 1. The angle G is below line 2. 
but they are to the right side of uh, the transversal 3 so they are also called as corresponding angles similarly you take uh, angle a and angle e angle a is above line 1 angle e is above line 2 but to the left of the transversal so they are also called as corresponding angles similarly take angle d and angle h both are below the lines 1 and 2 respectively to the left of the transversal so they are also called as corresponding angles so when you have a transversal going through two lines you get uh, four sets of corresponding angles they are b and f c and g a and e and d and h so this is the first set of angles that we have to keep in mind now let us go through the other types of angles so for example let us uh, uh, take the angles D, C, E, F. D, C, E, F. What is happening? The two lines are there and the transversal is going through the two lines and making these angles. But you can notice that they are inside the two lines. They are inside the two lines. So, we call them as interior angles. Interior angles. So, what are interior angles? You know, the angles formed between the two lines when the transversal is going through them. So, these are called as the interior angles. Now, what is the opposite of interior? Exterior. Then what are the exterior angles? Uh, the angles which are formed by the transversal when it is going through the two lines but uh, outside uh, the lines. So here A, B, H, G are not in between the lines. They are formed outside the lines. These are called as exterior angles exterior angles now again uh, you know some other angles have to be defined now what is the the relationship between angle f and angle d angle f and angle d you know both are interior angles but uh, angle f is to the right side of the transversal and angle D is to the left side of the transversal. Okay, angle F is to the right side of the transversal, D is to the left side of the transversal, but both are interior angles. We call them as alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles. Now, similarly, let us take the exterior angles. Now, let us take angle A and angle G. You know, both are exterior angles, but uh, angle A is to the left side of uh, the transversal, above the line 1, and uh, angle G is below the line uh, 2, but to the right of the transversal. So, G and A are called as alternate exterior angles. So the first one is alternate interior angles and the next one is alternate exterior angles. Right? Uh, these are some of the concepts that we will be using in uh, defining the properties of the transversal. In the next exercise, let us see how all these concepts can be developed uh, through a paper folding and also let us prove uh, how the vertically opposite angles are always equal hope this introduction is useful let us see you in the next video